So we got evacuated from our house two days ago due to a huge fire. Do you see it? Yeah. And all of that was on fire. Well, that's the end of the Blacktop Road. Wherever you are, that's where I want to be. If you guys don't know, we have not been home in a couple days. We're homeless. Yes. Um, we it at Mimi and Papa's for we, the weekend, apparently. We have this poor little guy. He's been... We've got uh, Draco. Yep. We've got Karma. Karma. Luna. Come on, Luna, come here. There you are. Here they are. We've got the puppies. <laughs> We've got the kiddos. Yep. It's been a full house. Yes. So we got evacuated from our house two days ago due to a huge fire up by our house. Huge wildfire like right in our backyard. It was yes. crazy. Um, it ended up burning over or at least 2,000 acres. Yeah. It sounds like they've got it pretty good under control. The roads are still blocked, but... Yeah, we tried to go home last night um, and they were still sending everyone around. Um, but this morning, I guess the orders for evacuation have been lifted. Now they're just warnings. They're just warnings. Um, but the roads are still closed. So yep. we are going to pack up and see if we can find a way into our house. Yes. We think there might way. be a back way. So we are packing up. We're getting the dogs. We're getting Draco. Getting Draco. And we are going to try and home. Mimi and Papa, okay? <laughs> These boys and these dogs are so excited to go home. Watch Karma's face when I tell him we're going home. Karma, do you want to go home? Do you want to go home? He's like, let's go. <laughs> Look at him. Karma, you want to go home? You know the way home? <laughs> Is that like the cutest thing ever? <laughs> yeah. So we, I am taking them past some of the hills right now that just got burned. Do you see it? Yeah. And all of that was on fire. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Is how on you? How There's no houses on this um, hill, but it is a big hill and it is all burned. Whoa, retardant all over the road. That's where they put the retardant. Uh, it's a fire dungeon. There's still like firemen up there. All right, we are working our way through the back way. I'm waiting for my parents behind me. They have um, Draco and a few other things of ours. And then Brian was like starving. So he is usually the one to get lost and he wants to take these back roads. Um, and he's like, I'm not waiting for him. <laughs> so I really hope he doesn't get lost because it is like dirt roads and it's not easy whatsoever. So hopefully my parents are here. We're gonna be sticking together and Brian's on so I've got a uh, car with dogs and I am stopped now because the road is closed. Uh, this road that they just opened so that we could go back home has now been reclosed because now they are investigating the fire. Well, that's fun, isn't it, Karma? Why'd they tell us it was open and that we could drive all the way out here if we can't? So I'm gonna have to get creative and uh, think about how to get myself out of this situation. Hit that thumbs up button. To wish me luck. Well, that's the end of the Blacktop Road. I think there's a country song about this. It's bumpy, huh? Bumpy ride. Bumpy, bumpy. And it's still standing. 
Karma! Our house is still here! It didn't break down! We made it! It definitely smells a little fiery. Um, you can see retardant around the house. But we made it home, huh? Yeah, we made it home. Yay. How does it smell to you, Ollie? Not too bad. Just a little bit. You're home! Hi, puppy! Are you still... In the butt in yep. more than one way. Yeah, McDonald's will bite you in the butt in a lot of ways. <laughs> oh, I was like, what, like 60 seconds behind you guys? Yeah, he got stuck uh, because two, not 60 seconds, you were like 15 minutes behind us. Oh, okay. And then they shut down the road. So he had to we drive all the way around. The poor puppy's been in the car for like an hour. It's still here. <laughs> it's still here, but it looks different when you, our view looks different. Our view looks a little different. Like, did you see it? Yeah, that's, wow. So we have a huge, beautiful plateau that we look out at and oh it is black. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Yeah. That's crazy. It's black. It was green earlier this year, like beautiful green. And now it is but black. You know what that means? What? Next season, it's gonna be huge and lush and beautiful green. I hope so. Like it's kind of just, the just circle, the circle of the like, life. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that crazy? This is my favorite view out here and it's literally in charge. The boys on the way in were like, I said, remember this was like so green and beautiful? And he goes, and Ollie said, now it's ugly. And I said, you know what? It actually is beautiful in its own way. It's just kind of the circle of life and it's sad to watch, but it's gonna come back and it's gonna be better. Yeah, honestly, the plateau, I mean, it's been looking yellow for years. Yeah. So I think this is kind of what it needed and I'm hoping maybe gross. we get like a lots of water and then our view will be even more beautiful yeah. by next season probably. It's pretty crazy looking. I'll this is wild. So there's our plateau. It's just all black. Um, over here, you can see the retardant line and there is smoke coming up right now so hopefully I, I can see just the helicopters are just hitting it like crazy it looks like if you see us on the news <laughs> there's just news reporters out there too Okay, I wanted to chime in really quick. As you know, we are back home um, and we might be out of order in our videos right now. We were a little bit behind due to our vacation that we just took, our huge road trip, trip which was fun and we caught so much footage and we wanted to share it all with you. But then this whole thing happened and I wanted to get this out to you guys so you could see kind of like the story of what was going on and you could see that we're safe and back home so some things might be a little out of order but we're probably going to go back to our regularly scheduled videos which is probably um ollie going back to school and all of that fun stuff so if things feel like a little bit like wait when did when did ollie go to school or any of that just uh, stay tuned we will get back to our regular schedule but otherwise i'll just delete this if None of that's true, and we're just in the regular order. All right, boys, how does it feel to be back home? Good. Good. You're already changed. Oh, watching some Harry Potter. Draco is so happy to be home in his uh, mansion, basically, compared to what he was in. Huh? It's his cage, but it's like a mansion compared to the little box he was in. He is literally like relaxing. He's like, that was a really stressful couple of days. I need to be in my space. Leave me alone. Don't talk to me. This pup is so happy to be home. Look at his smile. He's just like, I don't know what all that was about, but I'm just so happy to be home, huh? Why are you such a happy dog? Karma usually has always been very easily adjustable and, and he just is adaptable. Um, but that was the first time that I kind of noticed like, he's not loving you know this he's kind of like why are we here what's going on he maybe he could just feel all of our kind of anxiety about the whole situation um but we've just been watching out here and we definitely keep seeing like puffs of like black smoke that keeps going up but then it goes out so i think they're constantly putting out little fires that keep erupting and as you can see the wind is starting to pick up so there's always that worry that an ember 
could fly and start a new fire and um, cause a whole bunch of issues. But so much is burned that honestly, I can't imagine that anything could go too far because it would just, it can't burn something that's already been burned. So it'll just probably burn out if a fire does start or they'll be able to get it out before it gets too crazy. We're not too worried at this point, but the, the airplanes and the uh, helicopters are just crazy. I don't know if you can see that smoke, but that's like, that's the black smoke that we keep seeing kind of like puff up somewhere and then like another random spot. We definitely have some really awesome firefighters because they have just been on it all day, just, just all over keeping us safe. And it's really cool because we can be home and just like relax and not stress too much knowing that they're out there keeping an eye on things. Ready to go inside? So I've just been doing some cleanup and putting stuff away since being out of the house. By the way, our air conditioner is broken so it feels like it's fire in here. Right boys? It's yeah. really not that bad. But it is nearly 100 degrees outside. Let me see. Yeah, it is 100 degrees outside. So it's definitely toasty in this house. Um, but we're just trying to get back to normal. You guys are so happy to be home, huh? We're gonna make some lemonade. Go ahead and put it in there. No, just one is good. Did you breathe it in? Ew, you're not supposed to breathe it. That's just a, a lesson you learn when you're a kid. Yeah, don't smell it. it. It's not that it smells bad, it's just that it gets stuck in your nose. It's kind of uncomfortable. Yum. Smell good? Smell good? Yeah. <laughs> Yummy. So it's a couple days after the fire and uh, we decided to take a drive up here to see the actual damage. So we are now driving, we're all in the car, um, and this is basically where the fire started. Um, they said there was like a lightning strike, like right here at this corner. So yeah, the fire basically started right here at this corner and then worked its way all the way down this road and it's just crazy being here and seeing all of like the effects of the fire. We've actually done a photo shoot here. We have those pictures, I can share them. Yeah, yeah, we've done it some photos up here. So beautiful. It's crazy, this is, uh, yeah, it's the plateau now. Look at it, you guys. It's not beautiful anymore. Whoa, why? Yeah, that's all the fire stuff they had to put down to put out the fires. Look at that, they're so close to the road even. They did such a good job at controlling this fire, you guys. It was literally right in our backyard and they saved all of our houses and our neighbors' houses. It was pretty incredible to watch them do. And this is just crazy now, look at this. Just like fields of black. Yeah. Oh, just burnt up. Wow, it just keeps going yeah, too. It's, it's a lot. Literally just keeps going. It, it burned over 2,000 acres. I decided to take a little scooter ride up the road and check this out. These are all the hoses from the firefighters. Really? And they were, yeah, using them to put out all the fire. Why did they leave them here? And they're probably just still cleaning up, but look at all this. I don't know if you guys can really see because that sun, but it is just crazy coming out here and seeing this. Wow. It's like just so different now. See, this used, used to be like really bright green and like trees and it's so weird. Just touched this and he said it's still hot from the fire. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, it is warm. What? It is warm, but it's also a warm day. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Winston. Oh, he just hid under there. Winston is our outdoor cat that I could not find when we were like when we were leaving, but he's totally fine. I was watching him on the cameras. Um, there was only like a couple hours where I couldn't see him because the cameras were out, but other than that, I was watching him and he was totally happy and and fine. But you know, just good to see him playing and stuff, huh? He's over there. All right, well let's leave him be. All right. Let's uh, head in for the night. We were just hanging out, just enjoying our outdoor time. We, are my favorite time, like at this house, is right when the sun starts to set and it's just so beautiful out and it was just really fun watching, kind of just looking out and watching the airplanes 
fly by and the helicopters and. Wait, you think that? Mama! What? I'm getting Okay, I think it's time for bed. We gotta go night nights in our bed tonight. Okay, <laughs> I think he's stalling. <laughs>